So tomorrow's the big day. My first day of teaching as a visiting professor at St. Mary's College of California. And boy, oh boy, am I excited, though also nervous. So I thought I'd fill you in before the semester got too far going on how the prep work has come. Basically, it's been a lot of work, but I've had a huge support network. So I say like only, not even jokingly, that I've been working harder these last few weeks than I have in like my entire life, which if you've been following me, you probably realize that that's really saying something. But I want to give these students the best opportunity to learn possible, the best learning experience. Um, and so when I see those ideas like click in their head, I know that it will all be worth it. But of course, it also is a lot of work on my end. And so I am just so incredibly, incredibly grateful for the support network that I have at both at St. Mary's, as well as in the like online communities and the external world and all the connections I've made through things like the IUBMB. Um, so, so many people out there that really are dedicated to undergraduate education. It's so, so refreshing to see. It's so nice. The people around me are just so supportive, um, providing materials, um, talking to me, offering advice, all these great things. And so I am just trying to like soak it all in and incorporate as much of it as I can into my own teaching. What's really great about kind of like starting out already being kind of entrenched in these networks is that I'm really trying to incorporate the most like evidence based things for helping my students learn ideally. One of these is something called like a flipped classroom. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that. Uh, maybe some of you have taken classes that are in a flipped format, but basically that you kind of flip what's going on in the class and what's going on in the homework sphere so that the, you, the students watch like shorter pre-recorded videos and they do reading and it's a little pre-assignment before class. And then during class, they work together like in groups on harder problems where they're actually having to apply their knowledge and um, so, and then you're there to kind of like go around and talk with them and be that guide on the side to um, help guide them through their learning process, but they're taking this active role in the learning. And so I'm really excited about it. It's um, really great for student learning because they're able to draw those connections. They're able to um, really apply their knowledge and do that while you're there or around there. So you can kind of like see their thought process and help them out if they're going down wrong avenues um, and working together with one another and trying to like teach one another as well. I found that teaching other people is, well, that's a great way for yourself to learn. And so through the bumbling biochemist, I've been able to teach myself a lot of different concepts by, and then like teach them to others and then help reinforce that. And then when I forget those things later on, I can go back to that stuff that I've made. And well, now I have an explanation of it in a way that I know that made sense to me at least. And so I'm really excited about this and I, um, so basically though I have to prepare like pre-lesson things and then lesson activities and then homework. Um, so thankfully I have um, some resources and stuff from past teachers. Um, so shout out to Drs. Karen Roof, um, Jeff Sigman, and Jim Pesavento, and Vidya Shadrashtakaran um, for all their helpful resources from when they've taught the courses in the past. And so I'm really grateful for that, as well as a bunch of free online resources. And I'm not trying to judge at all any professors who don't use the flip classroom. And I've had some really, really great professors that just give like a normal lecture and that can be super duper effective too. Um, and so it's just all about kind of engaging the students and there are different ways to do this and things like this. And so I'm not, I'm not trying to make any judgments. I'm definitely not trying to say that I know it's best or whatever. Um, so I just wanted to clarify. I am just so, so grateful for the support. And also like, so I've been to like a new faculty orientation as well as like the all staff day. So at new faculty orientation, um, that was really exciting. And I got to meet other new faculty members and everybody was just so, so incredibly amazing and so just approachable, um, really had a diverse range of views and experiences and just like learning from them was just, was very, was very eye opening in some ways. Um, some of the, the experiences that they had had that they were sharing, um, some of their advice for me it was very, very helpful. It was very, 
um, warming to be in this community. And everybody we met was just so incredibly welcoming, so incredibly friendly. And they really made us feel like they wanted us to be here, but also they made us feel like they reminded us over and over that it's all about the students. And so what we're doing, they were kind of like helping us so that we'll be able to best serve the students. Um, the students are always front and center. And so this is just something that's so, so rewarding to hear and to like hear, to talk to the other professors um, and talk to the other new faculty. And everybody was just so, so dedicated to the students. And it was just like, I love, um, I love this community. And yeah, so that was the new faculty day. And then I got my like official headshot with like the arches behind me and stuff like this. Um, and so hopefully soon I'll be on like the actual website. It was a funny story is that like when I was trying to get access to the teacher materials for the textbook, they had to like verify that you're an instructor. And then they're like, do you have a page on this website with you yet? And I'm like, not yet. But um, thankfully they were able to do it a different way. And now I have verif verification and I have access to the teacher resources. So I have Leninger love like, to the extreme. Yeah, so that was new faculty day. Then I've also had like all faculty day. And so basically that's everybody. So I got to see a bunch of old professors or not old, not, not old that way, but I mean like former professors, um, teachers that I had in the past that were like running up to me to give me hugs. And it was just so exciting. And I really just kind of feel like I've been embraced back into this community that's always felt like my home. And I am just so incredibly grateful to be here. And I know I say that a lot and I don't say it lightly. I love, love, love the people I'm around. I love the environment and I love all of the students that I've worked with so far. And I'm just so excited to meet more, um, to be able to work with them. And I'm really excited for this like kind of like flip classroom format where I'll be able to, to really go in and have discussions with them. And so part of it too is that there's small classes. So one of my classes has 12 students and one has 16. Um, so we'll really be able to, I'll be, in, be able to engage with them both in the classroom, in the lab, um, in office hours, all of these different ways so that they can, they can really hopefully come to love, love biochemistry, love their Leninger, love all of this stuff. And I'm focusing more on like this, like mastery, um, mastery objective mindset or whatever. I'm, try, I'm still trying to learn all this like pedagogy, lo lingo. Um, but basically what I care about is the students being able to like really know the knowledge and be able to apply it, be able to connect it to other things rather than them just being able to recite things that they've memorized. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to give them a lot of different opportunities and assignments and this sort of thing to show it to me rather than having just like a couple of really high stakes exams. I'm not for that. I'm for the like multiple ways to show me that you know know the concepts um, and those, those assignments will also help you learn the concepts as well. So that's that and I'm going to stop rambling because my mom says I always start rambling and I'm sorry if I start rambling and I know I start rambling sometimes so I'm going to stop rambling and let you get back to your day and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who have supported me along the way and I couldn't have done it without you and I feel like in some ways I've been preparing for this moment all my life or at least all the way since I've started doing my bumbling stuff and you guys have helped me be my like practice audience um help me develop as I'm going back and like looking at some of my past stuff I'm like cringing a bit um but I'm also realizing that I've come a long way and I've learned so much along the way and I'm so grateful that I've been able to share that learning experience with others to teach them as well. So I will stop now. I will post a link to um, my blog where you can find all sorts of different resources and a guide to finding stuff on my blog so you can find all those different resources because I am going to be crazy busy for the next semester and I'm just excited. So tomorrow is it, the day and... I said I was going to stop rambling, but now I really am. Bye. Okay, I lied. Sorry. I'm back. But I don't know how I forgot to do this, but oh my gosh, thank you to my family and my friends for helping make this possible. Like, I know I said that I couldn't have done it without all those other people, but I really couldn't have done it without you. Um, so from the very beginning, you've been so supportive of me and so supportive of me reaching my goals, reaching my dream. And we did it. And I'm just so, so grateful. I can't Oh, thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you, my family. I love you. Um, and thank you.
And yeah, and also thank you for helping like calm me down when the nerves get to me. Um, so I'm trying to focus on that excitement and I really just am so excited. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now I'm really, really done.